Ladies and gentlemen, the Rabbit Lodge. So, my idea for, hey, let's not, you know, a ghost got used to the fence, why use the electric fence anymore? Pretty used to it. Well, the other day, I noticed that there's some chew marks. Chew marks on the uh, wiring, right? And I thought it was worn away, rubbed off, someone stepped on it, maybe it was just whatever. Well, no. Chew marks. I should have put two and two together. My friends, this is the goats. This is what happens when you don't have your electrical, your shocker on. You're thinking, hmm, this will be good. This will be fine. So my rear end gets shocked. Oh, ouch. Gets shocked. Picked this thing up the other day, and I'll tell you what, full blown blast. Wow, that felt good. So yeah, so my idea for the ghost not to be on a hot fence is not gonna, we're not gonna pass. So, a little repair work, nothing big, we'll fix that. Goodness new. My little farmer, walking boy. Oh. When you're young, you just love them growing up. And when you're older, you're like, why do I want them to grow up? I don't want them to grow up. They're perfect at their age. That's yeah, still fun to watch. Beautiful journey. 10 acres of property, and he has a fascination with the road. Why do you have a fascination with the road? Bean! Duffin! Hey, let's go hunt the animals or something. Yeah? Grace is taking a nap in the SUV. We gotta wait for him to wake up. What you guys eating over there? <laughs> so this was a pretty cool setup we had. Um, but it's time for the meat birds to start actually coming out here to the open more. So I'm gonna actually end up putting Gerald and Winston's girls and they're gonna be in here with the goats for the next probably a couple weeks. And we're gonna take the meat birds and put them in that little uh, free fence and just move them all back here. Just move them all back here and just let them roam. Let them rock and roll. So we're coming to the end. They're getting really big and heavy. Grayson the other day. I, I hope I get my video. Do it again. He was heavy. Heavy. I'm like, good. I'm good. So the first batch, the Cornish, look at our Cornish is uh, all processed. And then the last will be the reds. But I think we're going to give them, I believe, until August. But they're really big too, so I don't know. But August is the plan. August, I think we're going to wait till August for them. So it's pretty exciting. Pretty exciting stuff because you work so all that time into it, and then you're going to bring it in. It's like you start seeing the harvest, and that's so cool. We're starting to harvest, and that is really cool. Some of this stuff. Soaker hose. Soaker hose. Powdery mildew, so we're going to try. See if we can get them better watered. What are we using? What beds are we using? We're going to use these on our zucchini, on our yellow squash, and our acorn squash, which are all right there. These two, we'll have them on that. Hopefully, we can keep their leaves dry while still watering them. Right on. Get them on a trellis. We're going to do a cattle panel trellis for them to climb up so that maybe we can. It's gonna look sweet.
See them over here? We have a whole vine of little cherry tomatoes That's coming awesome. out. And more up here, and more up here. You need help? I come in. So the other day, we saw the goats do really well. We put them out here on the uh, fence. And when it's like, hey, this is gonna work just fine, you know? And we saw them chewing on their fence. You know, and, and I, I, they got used to it. I thought the shock would be good enough, but um, ghosts find they're interesting creatures. And we knew that was the case, but, and it makes it fun, more enjoyable. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna move them now. We're gonna move them out here to pasture a little bit. There's a lot of good stuff out here. Specific things are gonna eat, not just grass, but like certain special type of plants out here that they really get a lot from. So we're gonna just move them back, give them some shade over here, and start kind of letting them just move through the field. But we're going to move them around and keep their fence hot so that they're not chewing on it and wrecking their fence. So we have the doors pretty much situated. We've been kind of really scrounging. I went yesterday to the hardware store to check for more, uh, you know, just have some of the galvanized netting we needed. And they're still really, they're bone dry. So we've been really scraping it. And I'm really happy with how, how we did this though. We used the rabbit, uh, the old rabbit cages, and it makes it a lot more sturdy. They're a lot, <coughs> excuse me, they're a lot stronger. So we're actually at the roof now. So I'm gonna get the roof on before I finish the last row of doors and get the same move because these animals have been here a good chunk of while. I hope that sucker's sleeping. False alarm, definitely sleeping. <laughs> a little nervous, everything's going so well. Loving their new place. Um, the animals have been there. <coughs> Excuse me. The animals have been there long enough now that they're starting to, you're starting to see that amazing amount of those ra the rabbit droppings, the compost um, that they're gonna be building. So I'm really excited about that, really excited. So we're gonna get this roof on, start closing up the deal here so I can get these guys moved out here. This shade, I love this shade. I like this area for working as well because it just really stays shaded. I'm really happy about this. When it comes winter time, we're gonna put them out here. I got a pretty good idea. Our garden was big to us, but now as we really have seen this go and, and the work, all the work up front, now we're just kind of maintaining it. And maintaining it isn't really too bad um, with our, at least our army, a family anyway. It's just kind of casual. Now everything's just popping and blooming. So now our brains are just thinking like, man, what else can we do? You know, what else can we add to this garden? What else can we, we, we accomplish? You know, let's bring more out this way. Let's bring the garden this way. So we want all the animals during the winter to be on a certain area. So they're just constantly just pounding that. We'll put... Uh, continual leaves and you know, we have no abundance of leaves here. We'll, we'll keep throwing on top of that garden and um, 
anyways, I'm excited. <clears throat> I'm just thinking all the time, dreaming up ahead, and it's it's fun. And I'm excited about next year already. But I'm already excited about seeing what we had. We actually had an abundance of meals last night. She said usually she we had zoodles, zucchini or zucchini, and she picks them in the little noodles. They make them to a, a little kind of a vegetable spaghetti. And it was absolutely delicious, and she had such a high abundance. Usually she's scraping, everybody has a little bit. She had so much that we had big old, like the kids were just went to bed, passed out. So it is so cool to start seeing the harvest and the fun of this. And I'm excited about these rabbits. Um, I've got hopefully enough to make it work for a couple rabbit tractors so that we're moving them on grass. I want to keep them moving through my yard. And they're in the cage for their lodge for their protection, and they have a lot of room lot of room which really makes me feel good and at the same time having a rabbit tractor that I can pull through the yard it gives them that opportunity to be on grass and keep them safe and um, happy happy animals good farm happy farm happy animals happy farm the screws I call the screws that's for sure we're definitely coming to the end of the job screws just enough okay so we are set all the long screws are done we got a couple small screws to use we're gonna get the roof all situated so now we're gonna get this roof going Looks cool, a lot of stables.
Excuse me. You're like on a big white brown cloud. Run, Stephen, run!